Howdy ho everybody and welcome back to Morning Coffee with John and Rhonda and today we are at a thousand trails RV resort in Claremont, Claremont Florida and so today we are going to do our 10 point rating system for Orlando Florida hey welcome back today we are talking about the Orlando RV resort in Florida now if you've never been here oh my god you have to be here serious you're only 20 minutes in traffic you're five minutes but 20 minutes in traffic or 45 minutes based on the day to Disney World Universal Studios anything else I'm missing um sea world sea um, world yeah just... if you have a family and you want to see all the parks this is the rv resort to go to mm -hmm. and if you just want to come to orlando you can just stay here because there's so many things to do here so let's start with our first rating about management how nice how how nice Rhonda, would you say is the people here at the resort 10 plus. I have yet to run across anybody that's rude. Um, they have a, a, a real strict rule system here, but it's it's what makes this park run so smoothly. But not strict make, in a bad way. No, not strict uh, yes, in a bad way, right. but it makes it run smoothly and effortlessly and harmonious and it's great they have they have it down there's times where we actually had to stay here longer and the park is a very busy park so you'll want to schedule it early <coughs> to get here but there's times where we actually like had to stay find a place for one or two days and the office people worked with us and you don't see that at other parks and they're always happy oh <laughs> you know, I haven't had one yet where you go, hey, I'm sorry to bother you. Gee, they've all been very nice. Yes, they have. Yes, I haven't. If you've had a problem, maybe you are the problem. Mm. Think about it. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So if I'm going to rate management and not just management, but the people that work in the park, I would have to, I would, uh, even though I can only give one point, I would give them 10 points. But yes. one point for that. Yes. Awesome people. We're always talking about this. What is the cost of camping here? Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's a problem because this is another Thousand Trails RV Resort. Right. Now you can join the RV Resort as a membership. We are, I promise you, we are gonna do a video on the RV Resort. But Rhonda, kind of explain the Thousand Trails RV Resort in case people didn't see our other videos. Right. Um, you know, it can get complicated. They have a lot of different specifications as far as if it's a Thousand Trails Park or an Encore Park. Encore is actually a separate company underneath Thousand Trails. So they're affiliated, but still separate. So each type of resort has different rules. But generally at a Thousand Trails an actual Thousand Trails Park that's owned by Thousand Trails, you can stay up to three weeks in a non-high-use season. This park has a high-use season from, I believe it is December through March. It might be a little earlier, but then during high-use season, you have a two-week limit where you can stay in the park you have to be out for seven days where you could stay at an encore and then you could come back. And it depends on which uh, membership you have. Um, they have the Adventure Pass package, Basic Elite. So there's a lot of different rules. If you're a full-timer, it's definitely worth it. Yes, but going back to can a non-member camp here? A non-member can camp here. Yes, we've had friends come and um, stay in the cabins, and they'll have to pay the regular rate. Yes. But if you're a Thousand Trails member, these parks are free for you to use. But the regular rate, and we, and the reason we don't give you the rate of this park is because it's based on the season. So in the summer months, it's going to be a lot cheaper to stay here because mm -hmm. it's so hot and humid and the park doesn't fill up much. But in Great. the winter months... When everybody goes on vacation, the the, the boomers come down yes. here to survive the winter, the price just goes up. So it can be various prices right. when you stay here. So that's the reason why we don't give you. So I would have to say, because it's a, a thousand trails park and the cost, I would give them a point automatically for this. Yes. So we got two yeah. points. Absolutely. Absolute two points. The next one, 
and I put these together, amenities and the facilities. I put them together. This is the flagship of a thousand trails RV resort. So if you come to this resort and you say, I'm bored, you must you're not be, looking. you're the boring person. <laughs> you are, yes. you are definitely that means the boring person. That walking out of your camper looking for something to do because there's something to do everywhere. So let's kind of talk about, and there's a lot of it. So let's kind of talk about the amenities and the facilities yes. and you don't have to put them in any order Rhonda because there's so much right and I'm just going to touch lightly on each one they have a swimming pool actually two swimming pools and um, it's kind of like an unwritten rule one's the kid pool and then the other one is the adult pool you know it's not written in stone but you know mutual respect and people it's, seem to do it yeah yeah and they have a hot tub they have shuffleboard tennis tennis um, that nobody plays, right? but they and, have it. And there's a small lake here, and so you can rent kayaks or canoes. Yes. And they have a nice area to sit on the dock to view Disney fireworks. You know, granted, they are a little and, off in the distance. But that's how close we are to Disney. But yes, we are pretty close to Disney. You can sit by the lake and watch the fireworks, which is every night, depending on the time of the year, between 8 and 9 o'clock. Or a little after nine. What I love is they have them. Uh, they have the office as you come in. Then they have the main building for where the pool is. Mm -hmm. So in there, they have now somebody comes in and makes food. So you can buy food oh, in the store. Right. Yes, so you that's have, new this year. That is absolutely new. Plus, I like it because I don't always want to leave the park. Is that they have a little store. So you yes. have a little camping stuff, you have ice cream, you have, mm -hmm. you, that's where you go to rent stuff. Yes. Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. And then I think they have a gym, which you they, have oh, to be- Oh, I forgot about that. You yes. have to be 18 years and older. Yes. yes. But you do need a code to get into the gym, but as long as you're a guest, you can get the code. Right. But yeah, it's, it's, you won't be bored here. Plus they have activities going on. They'll have shuffleboard tournaments, bingo. They have a calendar of events with usually something going on every day. And as in facilities, I mean, we already kind of talked about a little bit where they have the main building where you can, you know, use, oh, they have internet at the main building. Yes. So, and they have actually, which I don't see in many places, they actually have a separate seating area for people that need the internet. Now it's not private, but it's separate from the main building. So if there's kids in the main building, you're back further in, so you're not really bothered by the kids. Mm -hmm. But the other things I, I think you need to touch on is laundry and uh, showers. Do we have uh, any at this park? There's a lot of them at this park. Uh, the laundry facilities yes. are fantastic. Clean. Right now we're in the, um, not the newest section, but the- The newest of the newest. The newest, the second newest. Right. section right and it's new laundry facilities are sparkling clean the machines work there's no out of order signs on them um and it's the, just a, a, and these machines take tokens they take tokens they yep. don't do the uh the, the credit two apps that i talk yep. about um in other videos the the two laundry apps they just do tokens and they have the token machine in there um they have laundry facilities scattered throughout the whole area and I gotta say I've never really had to fight for laundry. You'd think with this many people in here that you would have to, but you don't. So I would say facilities and amenities for this park, definitely a one. Absolutely. So that brings us up to four points for Orlando Thousand Trails RV okay, Resort. what's our next one? The next one is how clean is the park and how clean is the facilities? Mm. Sparkling. Yes. They are, well, especially the new part because it is so new. Some of the uh, uh, spots across the road are the, the older. older part. You're kind of, when you're in the new part, it is smooth concrete pads, nice new roads. Um, the old part's not bad either. I, we've never been disappointed anywhere in the park we've stayed. But it all depends on what your preferences are. I mean, if you like to be secluded in the woods, there's the D section where you feel like you're in a tropical jungle. And it's shaded. And it's shaded. Um, the new sections, both new sections, they're they're nice. They got clean, clean grass, brand new concrete. 
but there's absolutely no shade. So you'll be running yeah. your air conditioners all the time. Right. If it's hot. A lot more shade in the older section. Absolutely. So I can't yeah. say that one section is better than the other. It depends on what your preferences are. Right. And in the old section, I just want to touch on this real quick. In the old section, you can set up a um, um, different kind of tent if you want to, you know, mm -hmm. protect yourself from mosquitoes. Right. And you can put your car kind of on the grass a little bit better. Over in the new sections, you can't touch the grass. Right. And anything you put up has to go on the concrete. Right. So that's which the, is good. That's is what that's what I like about them. They right. They preserve but, what they have and they take care of it, and it always looks. And they good. have a little bit of something for every kind of camping person. Mm -hmm. So if you like a little rougher, there's that. Yes. Not rougher, but you yeah. know, I mean, more. It's still all State Parkish. It's still all glamping. Every it, site has water, sewer, and electric. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. We love <laughs> it here. Okay, location. I've already talked about location. We where is Claremont? Can you kind of describe okay. Claremont, Florida? Claremont is pretty much in this. Um, I'd say from Kissimmee and Orlando area. You're probably ten minutes away, but you know what? This is Orlando. Expect traffic. traffic. Oh. What normally in <laughs> other metropolitan areas would take you uh, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, 10 miles, you know? Figure 20 to 30 minutes. Yes. You know, yes. it's just the average. It doesn't matter what time of the day. And it that's is. only because we are where all the entertainment is. Mm -hmm. You're going to be crowded. Yeah. So location, I'm going to have to give that six points. Right. Just got to be patient. Use your time wisely when you're traveling. Yeah. Always add an extra half hour. So pet friendly is our uh, number seven. And so pet friendly is? Absolutely a point because I swear that 75 to 80 percent of the people here have a pet. Whether it's a dog or a cat, mainly dogs, once in a while, I'll see somebody walking their cat on a leash. Yep. But um, no, very pet friendly. They have uh, um, duty stations throughout the park. Throughout the park. So remember, it's your duty to pick up your puppy's duty. And <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to make a sign. Oh, uh, yeah. And then there is actually a dog park over by the lake. Yes. So if you want your dog to run, if you have a bigger dog and you just want it to stretch out, that's a good mm -hmm. place to go. Socialize. Yep, socialize. So that, I'm just going to have to give a seven points. Mm -hmm. So they're doing seven out of ten. They're doing great so okay, far. Okay, next one. Number eight is, how about light? How much light in the park? Are we getting light and noise? You, where <laughs> we are right now, for such a big park, but we're on the edge of one of the newer section, sections. So we have like um, woods on the other side of us. I am shocked at how quiet it is. I mean, I feel like Jesus Christ came down and took everybody and he left. You mean Armageddon? No, I think the end times, <laughs> the end times, something that I think some days I walk out and I'm like, oh my God, did everybody get sent to heaven and I'm left what here? Oh, <laughs> so no. No, but. It yeah, is quiet. It's, it's quiet. They do have, which is another plus for them, because they do try to cater to your specific family needs. They do have what they call a family circle. But it's not, it's not assigned as a family circle. Right. It's just if you said family circle, said, we all know what that means. Right. And it's kind of nice because parents that have kids and want them to socialize with other kids because there's a lot of people on the road that homeschool and work from home and do this lifestyle and it's basically a family circle with a circle of campers and in the center of that is like a play area for all the kids so you know it's up to you whether you like that or if you don't like that but, but you have a place to go right and it kind of separates the active people from the non-active people right and i say if you're that couple that like okay i raised my kids i don't need to raise other kids i want to be away from all the kids then the new sections are perfectly yeah. a They're great place for that yes. yes they and they will help you out mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about getting here at the park driving into the park Mm -hmm. um, the rules of coming to the park. I, I know I'm going off beat, but I, I think it's, and we addressed it earlier, mm -hmm. but I think we need to talk about, this is a good time to talk about it. When can you come 
to a thousand trails to check in to check in 12 noon not 11:59 not 11:58 not 11:57 you will not get into the gate until 12 noon and you the, will be turned around at 12:59 right. if you see the enormous amount of people that check in here every day they have to have this system to to help it run smoothly um and if you think you're going to sneak in they literally have a person on a cart two people in a cart <laughs> Halfway down the road, because it's a long road to get in here, and another one at the front. And they uh -huh. will stop you and tell you to turn around and get out. Right. Nicely. Nicely. They do it nicely. <laughs> they do you it know, nicely. The funny thing is, is they do everything nicely. Yeah. It's now, if you're an ass, they're still going to be nice to you. <laughs> you're nice still an ass. That's just the way it is. But if you're one of these guys or women who thinks, oh, it's 5-2, I can sneak in. Uh-huh, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. You know, and they follow that rule and it's what makes the system right. work. And, if, and you can't say, I don't know. Why is it that you cannot say, I did not know you could not come here earlier? Because the day before, they give you a call to remind you. Every have time. You, have you stayed here before? And I'll say yes, and I know not to come a minute before noon. That's right. So it's BS. <laughs> if you try to tell any of those workers, oh, they, I didn't know. They call you. They, they know. They leave a message. They warn right, you. Right, right. So they do everything in their power to make this work. Right. So when you check in, you drive over to another staging place, right? Yeah, it's called the staging site. This is They only do this during busy times of the year, which is usually their high use season. Winter. Yeah, winter. And you go to a staging site, they initially give you a number when you go through the gate. And then that number, you take to the staging site, and that's where you unhook your car. You get in a line. Yeah, you basically get in a lineup, and that's where they have golf carts escort you to a site of your choice, whatever's right. available at that time. So, right. So, if you've never been here before and you think, oh, I'm just going to go and drive and find my own place. No. Nope. They will move you, and they will chase you down and figure out what you're doing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I found it's okay. We did this last time. I found it's not against their rules for like when we separated our car from our class A mm -hmm. for you to drive in and kind of look ahead of time mm -hmm. to for a spot. And right. then you just kind of told me, hey, let's, this is open. Let me know. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Because I'll drive around in the Mazda and then I will say... Hey, ask him if this site in this section is available. And they are very efficient with their radios and they fill sites and they record them as soon as they fill them and there's no second guessing. So that's what I love about that. It's mm -hmm. well organized. We're at eight points. Enough of the, what you need to do to come in here. We got two more points to go. Number nine, Wi-Fi cable in our phones, cell phones. So let's start with the cell phones. How good of cell phones? Now, we can't speak for AT&T. Yeah, because I don't know what it is about this year, but AT&T's signal really seems to have diminished greatly in Florida this I year. I said we can't talk about AT&T, right? Oh, is that what you said? Yes. I didn't mean that. We have at and See, we used to have Verizon, <laughs> and then we went to at and I'm, I'm confused. Uh -huh. So, let's talk about AT&T and not Verizon. That's okay. what I meant. Well, that's why I'm so confused. <laughs> I know. I confused me. <laughs> so at and T signal is not like it was last year. I mean, it's still, it's just, you still have 5G here. So it's kind of hit and miss. We've always been able to stream. We have T-Mobile for our streaming services for our Wi-Fi. We've always been able to stream Netflix and other movies. I haven't had any no cell phone service anywhere in this area. But it is 5G, but like two dots. Yeah. We're not getting a super fast signal. Super fast signal. And you no, got to remember, not. there's 1,300 plus people in this park. Times two, all fighting for the same signal. Well, you got times two because a lot of the kids and yeah, everybody times else. 10. So, and that's not just this park. That's other parks in the area. There's there's another thousand trails park maybe 10 minutes away. Right. So, and then there's other campgrounds, other things. So mm -hmm. we're competing with everybody in this area. So I would ha say I'd have to give them a point for it because all those circumstances How about are wifi? out of their control. How about Wi-Fi? Wi I thought was good. Our T-Mobile spot? No, Wi-Fi for the park. Is there free Wi-Fi? Oh, there's not free Wi-Fi. You have to pay for, I think it's Java is the, is the go-to Wi-Fi for a lot of the campgrounds. 
and they charge a, a daily, weekly, monthly fee for it. And I tried using it a couple of years ago and wasn't real impressed. Had better look so we've never phone. used it again. So we right. really don't know Can if I it's an changed. Honest opinion? honest opinion. So I'm not going to deduct them for a point for right. that. And then when it comes to cable, there's absolutely no cable television here. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to either do it off the Wi-Fi, whatever source, Starlink, yeah. you name Does it. Does anybody use cable TV anymore? I, I don't want to say old people because I'm an old person, but... <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't, I'm not sure. I think they do, but I don't mm. know. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and give them, I'm going to give them nine points. Yes, I am too. So not nine points, but we're at a total of nine points. Right. Last one, thank God it's the last one, 10 points. It's theft. Mm. And is it, do you feel safe in the park? I feel safe in the park. It's gated for one. And they, from what I have seen, they have somebody manned at that gate 24-7. I mean, I haven't come in at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, but even if you were and there was nobody in there, you need a gate code to get in. It's, it's quite monitored. If you're going to have theft, which I haven't heard of anything no, we've in the been, last couple of years. We've been actually been coming here four years. Yeah. Four and years. I have never heard anything but theft. No, right. if it is, it's silent. Yes. But, but it's got to be somebody who's in the park stealing. I, I think so. Yeah. It's not somebody outside the park like we've experienced in other parks. Mm -hmm. Security, so, yeah, very good. Very good. Another point. So we're giving Orlando Thousand Trails RV Resort in Claremont, Florida, 10 points out of 10. Yes. Excellent park. If you've never stayed here, you've got to stay here. Yeah, whether you're a member or not a member, you need to at least check Shit. it out. Absolutely. Especially if you want to go to all the entertainment in the area. Right. So, yeah. that being said, hey, thank you so much. Don't forget to... Boop that button. And we'll see you real soon. Thanks okay. for watching.